If you saw my last video talking about the life cycle of a low mass star, you know that all stars start out in nebulas. The nebula spins, creates a mass of hydrogen, which is known as a protostar, and eventually the protostar will start burning hydrogen to make helium, in which it becomes a main sequence star. Although both high mass and low mass stars result in main sequence stars, high mass stars burn much hotter and brighter than low mass stars, giving these stars a more blue appearance. The star will spend most of its life as a main sequence star burning hydrogen in its core. After billions of years, the core is hot enough to fuse hydrogen into helium on the outer shell of the core. This causes the star to expand and now becomes a supergiant. The supergiant will burn the helium in its core until it runs out, then repeat the process with carbon and so on with heavier metals until it begins to fuse iron. And finally, the core will stop fusion altogether. When this happens, stand back because there is no more pressure pushing out from fusion, there is nothing counteracting the gravity pushing inward. The supergiant collapses into itself and explodes into an enormous supernova. When the supergiant explodes, it releases most of the star's mass into space. What is left behind could become one of two things. The remaining mass could collapse into a neutron star, which is a small but extremely dense star. Because the neutron star has no fusion left, it no longer generates energy and does not emit light that could be seen with the naked eye. It is also possible that the supernova could collapse into a black hole, which is defined as a region of space having a gravitational field so intense that no matter or radiation can escape. The remaining mass that got flung off into space will go to be part of a nebula and begin the process all over again. And that is the simplified life cycle of a high mass star. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me that you took the time out of day to watch this video. I hope you learned something new. And as always, drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more Earth and Space content. See you next time.